Uh, I think one of the things that is really helpful is you have a big vision, but people can get lost in that. You have to give yourself really concrete steps that are achievable so you can have a, a there's always in our mind, we have every hour of the day is valuable. So we have, oh, have we released this yet? And there's this desperate sense of urgency to get to these steps and you release features that you hope will build the next because if you if businesses kind of grow like this I don't know if you can see but it's like a sine wave that comes to the right so it's very rarely just that right you actually build this thing that grows and then that grows and it's exciting and there's press and then that falls and you have to counter that and hold it and then find your next thing and build up and so I've learned that particularly from Ken, Ken Lear um, of the, that you build very concrete steps which are achievable to build momentum one step on top of the other. And then something that's like a, a lesson from Eric Hippo who uh, was our CEO at HuffPost and is incredible and is our chairman and I sit very close to him, uh, which I learned so much from him is that that move from being scrappy where it's just a few of you and you do everything to what we're going through now which is you, tra you transition into being scalable where it might be a one or two degrees less creative in every step but it's much more replicable so you discover the things that then you can say like we don't want to build a consulting company we want to build a platform and so uh, now it's a lot of fun as we have this increased traction and growth and things have become so clear how you can use it that the team also moves to be scalable which in simple terms I have three little kids I'm actually more proud they're seven five and two I'm more proud of myself as a dad than any other thing else and the key with all the people on the Rebel Mouse team is having a sustainable life. So there's these myths of startups where you have to work 90 hours weeks and you sacrifice your family and all of these things. And I think that's a myth. I think actually being a dad helps me to have a balance and perspective. And some of the best ideas I think of are while I'm reading to the kids. Uh, and it's this balance that every employee needs so that life is sustainable and that's part of the move to being scalable. It's part of why I love a globally distributed team because we don't have to have the pressure of someone up at 3 a.m. to deliver it. It's that 3 a.m. is in Eastern Europe, you know, their morning. So we have, we have teams purposely built around the pass the baton to follow the sun so that we can have a great idea uh, from someone at 5 p.m. and in the morning we're testing it. Uh, and that in at noon there's still someone to support it because they weren't burnt out with an all-nighter. So thinking about that move from scrappy and lean to scalable is something that a lot of people get tripped up on. They make their identity around I'm the scrappy person which I love and I embrace that, but you also have to embrace that move to making it sustainable for yourself and for your team.